Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we will understand how to split the data set in Random Forest in Nine. Random Forest is a machine learning algorithm that is used for classification and regression task. It is an ensemble method that combines multiple decision trees to make more accurate and robust prediction. In a random forest, a large number of decision trees are constructed on different subsets of the data set. Each decision tree is constructed by randomly selecting a subset of features and a subset of data points from the original data set. During the training process, each decision tree is trained independently on its own subset of the data. Once all the trees are trained, they are combined to make a final prediction. The final prediction is made by taking the majority vote of all the individual tree predictions. You can see here a data set. Now we will consider different decision trees to train these data sets. We will get different results also, but we will consider the majority voting for the final result. Then comes the concept of out of back prediction. Out of back predictions are a concept in machine learning algorithms, particularly in ensemble methods such as random forest. In this method, the algorithm creates multiple decision trees by using a different subsets of the data for training each tree. Out of back predictions are the predictions made by each decision tree on the data points that were not used for the training that particular tree. You can see here in the original set, in bag 1, for bootstrapping sample, patient A and C are considered for training purpose. But when we do the prediction of patient B and D, that is an out of back prediction. If we talk about back 2, patient A, B, C, D, they are all considered for training purpose. So there is nothing left for out of back prediction. If we talk of back 3, patient A and D are considered for training and therefore patient B and C are out of back prediction. Then we get the confusion matrix. I have already explained confusion matrix in all my previous video. Kindly refer to it. Now we will see how to plot or how to run random forest by splitting the data set in 9. So first of all, we will go in input output. I will activate CSV reader. I request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous video to understand the flow of this tutorial series. Connect heart 1, open, ok, right click on it and execute. Now I will activate the column filter from here. To consider only those variables on the basis of which the model will be created. Configure. I'll remove all the variables or I'll take the very variables on the left hand side. Age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, maximum hours of exercise, heart disease. Okay. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the filter table. So you can see the variables which are necessary for our model are considered. Right. Now let's activate. The partitioning of the data set. Right click on it and configure. We will divide the data set into 80, 20. Activate stratified sampling based on heart disease. OK. Execute. So the data set will be split into the first partition, which is for the training data set, and the remaining 20% is for the testing data set. Now activate. Random Forest Learner. Right click on it and configure. The heart disease is a target variable. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again activate Random Forest Predictor. So the predictor will get its learning from here. And the data set remaining 20% will be connected here. So the predictor will predict for remaining 20% data set. Configure. Change the prediction care column name to prediction heart disease. Uh, click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the prediction output. So this is a prediction output using the random forest and this is the actual data. Now we want to see how well our algorithm fits to the data. So we will activate the scorer from here. I click on it and configure. Activate 
heart disease compared with the prediction heart disease click ok right click on it and execute again right click on it and see the confusion matrix so you can see that uh, the classification accuracy is 71 percent uh, 55 are such cases which have been correctly classified 77 are such cases which have been correctly classified so 55 plus 77 132 cases have been correctly classified while 25 plus 27 misclassification has happened in 52 cases so this is all about how to partition the data set using random forest in nine for more videos on nine kindly subscribe to my channel you can follow me on linkedin and twitter please refer my playlist in which i already uploaded many videos on nine